Ladies and gentlemen, to open officially the May 2001 commencement ceremony of the University of Texas at San Antonio, will the University Marshal bearing the mace and the faculty marshals conveying the banners for the College of Engineering and the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please come forward to position the mace and to post the banners. the UTSA faculty, university administrators and staff, and our community of UTSA graduates welcome you, our guests, to the UTSA commencement. Will all please rise for the posting of the colors by the UTSA Air Force ROTC. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem led by UTSA student Jennifer Quintero. Thank you, and please be seated. The 
It is my distinct pleasure and high personal privilege to introduce the president of the Un University of Texas at San Antonio, Dr. Ricardo Romo. Mr. President, the UTSA academic community is assembled. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Almaraz. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the May 2001 commencement ceremony at the University of Texas at San Antonio. For me, today marks another milestone because Monday I will begin my third year as president of UTSA. There are both challenges and rewards when one is president of a university, but I can assure you that today is what it's all about, what's so special. Working with faculty and students of this caliber is why I made a decision to enter academia. Today's graduates are individuals who will shape the city and country during this very dynamic time. I'm a believer that education is the greatest predictor of future success. And I know that seated here today are many of the success stories of tomorrow. Just as this is an exciting time for each of you receiving diplomas and for your families in the audience, this is also an exciting time for UTSA. We're expanding partnerships in the community and across the state to evolve into one of the state's next tier one institutions. This natural evolution and growth of the university requires us to have an additional commencement ceremony. UTSA is growing, but while the institution is growing, it's not forgetting its mission to be the leading resource for learning, discovery, and service in the region. During the last year, as I walked around the campus, met with faculty, students, and staff, or stood in line waiting to buy my lunch at the JPL cafeteria, I detected a renewed sense of excitement at UTSA. In the pursuit of academic excellence, we now offer more than 90 degrees. We enroll more, than, more students than ever in our 31-year history, and we have produced nearly 50,000 graduates, including those of you graduating today. In the last two years, we have added four PhD programs, one language, literacy, and culture. And we added ele electrical engineering, English, and business. I commend the faculty, deans, and provost office, especially Dean Jean Reisman for bringing this about. I've also experienced a renewed sense of purpose last week when volunteers of students, faculty, and staff bonded together to help 486 students displaced from the university's Chisholm Residence Hall. Teamwork and compassion for the university family were hallmarks of those difficult days, and I thank everyone for their help. My special thanks to our new Vice President, Dr. Rosalie Ambrosino. There is a sense of excitement here, and it's contagious. Everywhere I go, I meet people who ask about our campuses. We will soon begin construction of a new biotechnology building and an academic building on 1604. At the downtown campus, we will open our new building, Academic 3, this summer, as well as a new parking lot. And this fall, we'll break ground at 1604 for construction of the Wellness Recreation Center. Speaking of our tri-campus university, this ceremony is historical because it marks the first time recipients of downtown scholarships will walk across the stage. To finish, I want all of us to honor the faculty at UTSA who have taught, mentored, and advised these graduates. Many of the, many of the faculty are participating in today's ceremonies and their various roles are highlighted in your program. But I want to take this opportunity to recognize and thank our faculty for the role they have played in the accomplishments we honor today. Will all the UTSA faculty members please rise to be recognized.
Thank you. Thank you, faculty members, and congratulations to our new graduates. We are very proud of you. It is now my honor to introduce to you the first woman elected to serve as Bear County Judge, a position she recently left to make more time available for her new role as Regent of the University of Texas Board of Regents. She is committed to higher education and is going to make an exemplary Regent. Indeed, she's already exemplary, attending two graduation ceremonies today on her first week on the job. Prior to being County Judge Regent Cindy Taylor Cryer served two terms as Senator in the Texas legislature from 1984 to 92. As a senator, she sponsored a bill that created a Texas Alternative Dispute Resolution Act, which led to the resolution of thousands of court cases in less time and less expense in trying cases in court. A former chairman of the University of Texas at Austin's Ex-Students Association, Regent Cryer has earned both her bachelor's and law degree from UT Austin. Regent Cryer is chair of the 2002 NC2A Women's Final Four Local Organizing Committee in San Antonio, for which UTSA will proudly be the host next, next March as we bring that championship to the city. And she's tri-chair of the San Antonio Sports Foundation bid committee for the 2007 Pan American Games. And if the Pan American Games come to San Antonio, they will be housed in a village here at UTSA. Her husband, Joe, is a terrific fellow whom I've had the pleasure of knowing. He, too, is committed to San Antonio. As all of you know, he is president of the Greater Chamber, San Antonio Chamber of Commerce. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Regent Cindy Taylor Cryer. Thank you, President Romo. I can't think of a better way to end my first week as a regent than by attending two of UTSA's graduation ceremonies, unless it was the way I began as a regent, which was by attending a class here at UTSA. But you've done a lot more of that than I have. On behalf of the University of Texas Board of Regents, I am delighted to welcome all of you to this graduation ceremony. Judging by our entrance, I think the folks in the stands are every bit as excited as those of you on the floor. And I join all of them in congratulating our graduates on the celebration of their outstanding accomplishments. Graduates, you will soon be awarded a degree from one of our nation's outstanding universities. It is my hope that you will join me in pledging your continued support to this institution and that you will commit with me to help UTSA grow and prosper in ways that will bring honor to you, to its alumni, to its faculty and staff, and to our community and state. Again, Congratulations and welcome. Thank you, President Romo and Regent Cryer. It is now my pleasure to introduce other members of the stage party whom I will ask to stand and be recognized. I ask you to hold your applause until all members of the stage party have been introduced. Uh, the Honorable Jamie Axtell Rochelle, General Manager and CEO, City Public Service Board, who will deliver our commencement address later in the program. Dr. Jesse T. Zapata, Vice Provost for UTSA Downtown, representing His Excellency the Provost Guy H. Bailey. Dr. Rosalie N. Ambrosino, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Rex H. Ball, Executive Director, Institute of Texan Cultures. Dr. Gene C. Reisman, Interim Dean of Graduate Studies. Dr. Alan E. Craven, Dean of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Dr. Dwight F. Henderson, Interim Dean of the College of Engineering. Dr. Shi Shun Rakishi, 
Professor of Civil Engineering and University Marshal. Dr. Cheryl B. Schrader, Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering, representing the faculty of the College of Engineering. Dr. Norma E. Cantu, Professor of Latino Latina Literature, representing the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. And the Honorable R. Rene Escobedo, President of the UTSA Alumni Association. Please join me now in welcoming the members of our stage party. This afternoon's commencement speaker graduated from UTSA in 1994, earning a Master of Science degree in Civil Engineering. Honored as a distinguished alumnus of UTSA, Jamie Rochelle is an excellent example of the community leaders that the university is capable of producing. She is currently the CEO of City Public Service, a billion dollar organization that provides electricity and utility services to San Antonio and the local region. She is the only woman in America to head a utilities company. This is quite an achievement. Her career at CPS began 31 years ago and she has been an integral part of the organization's growth and direction since that time. She's done a superb job and, as head of CPS and CPS is recognized as one of the top five utility companies in the United States. As a community leader, Jamie is respected for her passion to serve the citizens of San Antonio. As a visionary, she is respected for her leadership in the community to put San Antonio on the map as a high-tech city. As a leader, Jamie not only heads one of the largest employers in San Antonio, she serves as chairman of the Greater San Antonio Chamber of Commerce, the first woman to serve as chairman in the organization's 107-year history. An articulate and dedicated spokesperson for both education and our city, Jamie is a symbol of the partnership that must exist between business and education to best prepare San Antonio for the 21st century. Please join me in welcoming Jamie Rochelle as our May 2001 commencement speaker. Thank you so much, Dr. Romo, and to the distinguished uh, members of the University of Texas at San Antonio faculty, all the men and women of UTSA, and those who are all part of the UTSA family uh, gathered here today, thank you. It's an honor to address this gathering at graduation. That's a celebration, a ceremony that's, that's here to celebrate achievements of the past and also to address these new opportunities that you uh, see ahead of you because you have secured your degree in higher education. It's a time for expressing gratitude and it's traditional to get a bit of advice mixed in with all the cheers and some inspiration uh, along with that too. So let's talk first about the cheers. To achieve this day, you have dedicated much time and effort to master the subjects, complete your projects, and to make the grade. This is part of the investment side of your higher education, and each one of you has successfully achieved that. But by, by, beside the investment side, many of you have also made significant sacrifices. That's the element where you have given up something else of value. You've made a tough choice and taken some risks in order to acquire this degree. Many of today's UTSA graduates needed substantial financial aid to complete the degrees they've received today. Some are the first in their families to attend college and some had to overcome opposition at home to be here. Many have completed their degrees while working long hours, caring for families, and in some cases achieving that degree in very small increments 
as much as finances and family or work would allow. Facing and overcoming these hardships while successfully conquering the academic challenges has made you strong. And I urge that when you think of these hardships in the future, you smile with gratitude knowing they helped you grow in character and that will serve you well in the future. For all of you, the intense investment in time and talent, the dedication to achievement of this degree, and the taking of risks for a higher reward, these are empowerment skills that you learned here that you must keep and use throughout your lives. Another cheer, the driving force that's helped you grow and has earned your abiding loyalty and thanks today is this fine institution, the University of Texas at San Antonio. Many precious ingredients go into building a great city, but nothing is more important than the caliber of the people who live there. Because of this, the effectiveness of San Antonio's overall educational system from kindergarten all the way through college is of vital importance to every one of us. UTSA, through its leadership, its fine administration and faculty, its many, many programs partnering with business, through these mechanisms, UTSA greatly influences the quality of education throughout San Antonio. And now more than 46,000 capable UTSA graduates, many of whom are in San Antonio, are having a positive impact on San Antonio's economy. This is all part of UTSA's powerful and positive force for building the human potential in our community, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Until the late 1980s, there was no after-hours program for engineering anywhere in San Antonio. When UTSA opened its graduate program in engineering in the fall of 89, I enrolled, even though it had been over 20 years since I graduated with my bachelor's degree. Skeptical, given my age, that the classroom experience would be positive, I was very wrong about that. The knowledge I gained, combined with the memory of absolute acceptance by both faculty and fellow students, has enriched my life greatly. Discovering it was all still possible after all those years to fulfill both my engineering aspirations and my higher education dreams was a great joy. From my experience, it's clear that education is not a once-through process and not rigidly defined to just one era in our lives. With the accessibility and the open arms of UTSA, there is no barrier to you for building the life skills needed for your highest and best performance, for adjusting or completely changing your careers if necessary, and for chasing all your dreams. Now just a bit of advice and hopefully some inspiration. The job market that you face is different from the one encountered by my generation. Most of the distinctions are improvements with more choices and greater opportunity. But the increasingly dynamic and somewhat chaotic job market of today has some new risks to be dealt with. The great news is that even in the downturn part of the economic cycle, in the US, Texas, and San Antonio, our economies are all very strong by world standards, forming more jobs than there are workers to fill them. This is a tremendous advantage for each of you. The shortage of native U.S. workers available to fill the higher tech jobs in math, science, and engineering in particular is severe enough that the U.S. immigration policy is being adjusted to allow more talent from other countries to seek those jobs. On the challenge side of this job market, there is continuous splintering of traditional jobs into ever more refined and more highly skilled specialties. And there is spiking of jobs with new requirements in high-tech skills, information technology, and the new knowledge that is continuously being formed 
out of the U.S. research and development programs. Most employers expect knowledge workers to be picking up this new knowledge no matter where it's occurring throughout the industry. That means that continuous skills growth and a commitment to lifelong learning is an imperative today. Another challenge in this market, corporate mergers and spinoffs to chase new markets, new products, and new profits for uh, shareholders. That could mean that the work that you do one day might be consolidated into another city or another country or eliminated altogether by some innovation. Rather than view these events through a negative lens, let them be catalysts for you to make bold career moves at that point to greater accomplishment. A lifelong challenge is to find work you enjoy that's filled with meaning and substance for you, that matches your values and lets you achieve not only your financial needs, but your spiritual needs and needs of the heart as well. Given the new economy and a state of continuous change, you will need to keep adjusting your skills and reassessing your situation. I urge you to keep learning and growing and boldly move to your highest and happiest level of achievement, even if it means taking risks. I know that each of you will res resolve, and I do hope you do, resolve to view both life's challenges and its opportunities with a sense of gratitude, and that you make choices that balance your energies and commitments to your careers with equal commitments to family and friends and to your community. Community involvement means rolling up your sleeves and getting involved in whatever it is that needs your help. It means being a doer instead of a griper about what needs to be done. It means giving to a cause much larger than yourself. If you ever wonder where to start, remember UTSA and the thousands of students here who need mentoring, financial help, scholarships, or just a little encouragement. Not far from here are neighborhoods with seniors in poverty who need your help and young people who have not yet found their way. The opportunities for compassion and caring are everywhere and you can make a critical difference for someone else if you just will. In closing, my hope for each one of you as you face the challenges ahead is expressed symbolically in a poem that is sung on Leanne Womack's recent award-winning I Hope You Dance CD. You see, the poem is not about dancing at all, but rather it's about taking risks, living life to the fullest, getting involved with others in a way that enriches your life experience, keeping your perspective, taking career chances that will help you be all you can be. So here it is. I hope you never lose your sense of wonder, that you get your fill to eat, but always keep that hunger. May you never take one single breath for granted. God forbid that love would ever leave you empty-handed. I hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean. Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens. Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance and when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you'll dance. I hope you never fear those mountains in the distance, never settle for the path of least resistance. Living might mean taking chances, but they're worth taking. Loving might be a mistake, but it's worth making. Don't let some hellbent heart leave you bitter. When you come close to selling out, Please reconsider. Give the heavens above more than just a passing glance. And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. Congratulations and best wishes for much success in your careers, in your compassion, and your life's choices.
Thank you, Ms. Rochelle. Before continuing with the program, I'd like to exercise personal privilege and recognize and thank Dr. Patricia Graham for all the support and service she has given to these ceremonies. Dr. Graham. Today's ceremony honors first those graduates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree in their respective fields. The master's degree candidates of the College of Engineering will be certified by Dean Reisman. Will all master's degree candidates of the College of Engineering please rise and remain standing? Regent Cryer, upon recommendation of the graduate faculty, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you who have completed all academic requirements are entitled to receive the Master of Science degree. By virtue of the authority vested by law, in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each of you a Master's of Science degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please be seated. The master's degree candidates of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts will be certified by Dean Reisman. Will all master's degree candidates of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please rise and remain standing. Regent Cryer, it is a privilege to present the candidates for the degree Master of Architecture, Master of Arts, Master of Fine Arts, or Master of Music. Those who stand before you who have completed all academic requirements have been recommended by the graduate faculty. Thank you, Dean, Dean Reisman. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates. Will the graduates please be seated to recognize the special bond that exists between faculty and students Professors from each college will have the honor of investing the hood appropriate to the degree earned to each of the master's degree recipients in a symbolic ritual of investiture. Will the faculty performing the hooding ceremony for the College of Engineering please take their place in the designated area. And now will graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Engineering please come forward to be invested with a hood and to receive congratulations from Dean Reisman and President Rommel. The faculty investing the hood from the College of Engineering are Dr. Artyom Gregorian, Dr. Lars Hansen, Dr. Richard S. Howe, Dr. Randall Montefiel, and Dr. John C. Simonis. Master's Degrees, College of Engineering, Ang Trung Hui Bing. (Applause) 
Eric Allen Dunn. Mohammed T. Gashawa. Germán Eduardo Hernández. Amin M. Tomás. The Hooding faculty from the College of Engineers may now be seated. Thank you very much for your service. Will the faculty performing the Hooding Investiture from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please move to the designated area? And now, will the graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please come forward to be invested with a hood and to receive congratulations from Dean Riesman and President Rommel? The faculty investing the hood from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts are Dr. Bernadette D. Andrea, Dr. James S. Valentine, Dr. Juanita M. Firestone, Dr. Ann Hardgrove, Dr. Jack J. Himmelblau, Dr. Amy E. Jasperson, Dr. Patrick J. Kelly, Dr. Scott Lipscomb, Professor Constance A. Lowe, Dr. Bill Mullen, and Dr. Richard M. Winslow. <laughs> Master's degrees, College of Liberal and Fine Arts, Griselda R. Alfaro. Richard Wayne Arcos. Virginia E. Balderas. Anna Kathleen Robinson Brown. Elizabeth Suzanne Cameron. Iris Castro. Henry Esparza Hijo. Antonia Figueroa Gonzalez. Aaron C. Hufti. Adriana S. Garcia. Jeff Jacob. James Edward Miller. Rafael Rene Moreno Bustamante. Carolyn Makili Morgan. Carlos H. Filiado. Robert H. Sprickman. Michael Albert Tapia. Anthony Del Tolan. Amy K. Walter. The Hooding faculty from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts may now be seated. Thank you very much. The baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Engineering will be certified by Dean Henderson. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Engineering please rise and remain standing?
Regent Cry, on behalf of, on recommendation of the Faculty of the College of Engineering, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you who have completed all academic requirements are entitled to receive their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Use it wisely. Please be seated. Crossing the stage first to receive their diplomas in each college will be the summa cum laude graduates, followed by the magna cum laude graduates, and in turn followed by the cum laude graduates. These honor graduates wear the gold cord to recognize the excellence each has demonstrated in his or her academic pursuits. Will all graduates of the College of Engineering please come forward to receive your diplomas and to be congratulated by Dean Henderson and President Romo. Bachelor's Degrees, College of Engineering, summa cum laude, Julie Cook Cyber. <laughs> Bachelor's Degrees, College of Engineering, magna cum laude, Barry Lee Oaks, Jr. <laughs> Joseph P. Wasilenko. <laughs> Bachelor's Degrees, College of Engineering, cum laude, Matthew James Avery. Matthew D. Eicher, cum laude. Gerardo Esparza, cum laude. Richard David Grahowski, cum laude. Carol Harisha, cum laude. Nikki Michelle Johnson, cum laude. <laughs> Bachelor's degrees, College of Engineering, Khalid Al Imadi. <laughs> Najib Salim Al Harki. <laughs> Abdulhamid Asalada. Abdul Aziz Abdul Noor. <laughs> William J. R. Aufrance. Jason Christopher Bowman. Jose Luis Chavez Hijo. Jeffrey Daniel Darro. Roberta Escamilla. Jason W. Farrias. Michael Scott Fisher. David Gonzalez. Jose M. Gonzalez El Tercero. Cynthia K. Greer. Oscar Guadian, Roy Hamlin, Edgar Castilla Herrera, Michael Dwayne Lynn, Daniel V. Martin, Carla Anel Mendoza. Brian Michael Nogis. Thao Enoch Palm. Paul Andrew Pittman. 
William Carl Quinn. Clayton Patrick Rips. Tommy Ross. Ryan C. Stark. Maria Elizabeth Stone. Randy 1A Timms. Marcus Wayne Horner. David Michael Turner. Eric Joseph Van Delden. Jorge G. Vasquez. Daniel Daniel T. Zimmerman. The baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts will be certified by Dean Craven. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates in the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please rise and remain standing. Regent Cryer. <laughs> Regent Cryer, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you have completed all the academic requirements, have been recommended by the faculty of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts, and are entitled to receive their degrees. One more time, but it looks like there's some folks that want to graduate from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended with all of the rights the privileges, the responsibilities, and the obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will all graduates of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please come forward to receive your diplomas and to be congratulated by Dean Craven and President Romo. Bachelor's Degrees College of Liberal and Fine Arts, summa cum laude, Jennifer Renee Alonso. <laughs> Mrs. Dean Janice Fisher Craven. Amy Lynn Gilliam, Mag summa cum laude. Paula Elizabeth Jameson, summa cum laude. Pamela L. Kobasik, summa cum laude. 
Misty Sabrina Kruger, summa cum laude. Dina Karen Miller, summa cum laude. Donald Allen Novian, Jr., summa cum laude. Catherine Marsha Schmidt, summa cum laude. Janelle Lenhart Sims, summa cum laude. Stephanie Jane Wisowski, summa cum laude. Timothy G. Wilkins, summa cum laude. Jason William Wolt, summa cum laude. Bachelor's Degrees, College of Liberal and Fine Arts, magna cum laude, Sonia Cardenas, magna cum laude. Christy S. Ferguson, magna cum laude. Connie Diane Jenny, magna cum laude. Neil D. Yudish, magna cum laude. James Brian Kelly, magna cum laude. Jennifer Sue Laster, magna cum laude. William Wayne Love, magna cum laude. Richard Patrick Lutuski, magna cum laude. Cynthia Lee McCowan, summa cum laude, magna cum laude. Kimberly Ellen Mercer, magna cum laude. Christine Michelle Mickler, magna cum laude. Bruce Kevin Moses, magna cum laude. Maria R. Munoz, magna cum laude. Gay Nimitz, magna cum laude. Maria Raquel Sanchez Salazar, magna cum laude. Noah Christoph Talarico, magna cum laude. Crystal K. Stahl, magna cum laude. Bachelor's degrees, College of Liberal and Fine Arts, cum laude, Bradford Charles Bain. Nicole Elizabeth Camp, cum laude. Lisa Chantos, cum laude. Jennifer Susan Dooley, cum laude. Kimberly Wood Dill, cum laude. Jennifer A. Edwards, cum laude. Amanda Melissa Erickson, cum laude. Jennifer Marie Farrell, cum laude. Sabrina Fritz, cum laude. Michael Angel Garza, cum laude. Tenny Catherine Good, cum laude. Celia Tomasita Hernandez, cum laude. Aaron Janice, cum laude. Jennifer Ann Johansson, cum laude. Leaf Ocean Johnson, cum laude. Callie Kathleen Kolb, cum laude. Joseph Edward Labar, cum laude. Tammy Marie Langford, cum laude. Dara Beth Lawton, cum laude. Lisa Marie Leon, cum laude. Deborah R. Lillies, cum laude. Antonia. Antonia. 
Christine Antonia Martin Menke Cum Laude. John B. Paramore Cum Laude. Jennifer Leslie Reynolds Gruet, cum laude. Chastity Ann Roll, cum laude. Annalisa Salinas, cum laude. Leona Catherine Skull Horns, cum laude. Deborah K. Shipman, cum laude. Julie Solis, cum laude. Martha Trevino Stiles, cum laude. Jaime Rolando Villarreal, cum laude. Kristen Kologi Weaver, cum laude. William B. White, cum laude. Milkos Patrick B. Zamalmea, cum laude. <laughs> Bachelor's Degrees, College of Liberal and Fine Arts, Genevieve Michelle Adair. <laughs> Valesa N. Agosto. Emily Almaguer. Brenda Dominguez Alvarado. Joe A. Alvarez. Kelly Deanne Alvis. Cheryl Arvin. This gentleman waited half a century to get his bachelor's degrees, and he's got true grit. Randall M. Baldwin, James M. Barker, <laughs> Tiffany Barnes, Deltanya Lynn Barry, Vanessa Beard. Susie Mateos Becerra, Matthew Michael Bell, Derek Orlando Benavides, Clara Benavides, Jennifer Elaine Black, Lindsay Lee Blake. Michael David, Robert Bradford. Dean R. Bricky. Robert Berlin Bruce. Tracy L. Birch. Michael Anthony Bernias. Melissa N. Cadena. Juan Gabriel Canales. Karina de los Reyes Carranza, Pedro Carrillo, Stephen W. Carson, Juanita Cedillo, Army. retired Army Staff Sergeant Ralph O. Cervantes, USA. William Edward Chance, Daryl Robert Clark, Arcadio E. Contreras, Lisa Crisney Cook, Jawanda Corbin, Laura Ann Cortez, Jason Crawford, Robert M. Crater, Robert Frederick Cronk, 
Kelly Howard Cruz. Dora Silva R. Cuellar. Molly M. Kundari. Sarah Christine Day. Luis Ricardo De La Rosa. Daniel H. Gonzalez. Ted De La Rosa. Marisol De La Torre. Cynthia, no, Cristela De Leon. Jesus De Leon. Andrea Marie Deary. Marianne Del Valle, Shannon Marie Dewey, Angela Marie Dominguez, Erin Kathleen Downing, Deanna L. Durrell, Eric H. Ellison, Daniel Ruben Escobar, Lisa Marie Escobedo. Cynthia Astrid Espinosa. Johnston Ronald Farrell. Perla Elena Fernandez. Scott E. Fisher. Orlando Flores, Veronica Ann Flores, Brett Charles Freeman, Carl Herman Frick, Sonia Medrano Gamboa, Jerry Wayne Gann, Roy Garcia, Annalisa Garcia. Jenny Kathleen Garcia. Laura Annette Garcia. Lina M. Garcia. John Gabriel Garza. David William George. Lauren Jeanette Gildart. Second Lieutenant David L. Gomez, USA. Molly Elizabeth Gomez. Oscar David Gomez. Sonia Gonzalez. Sandra Y. Perez Gonzalez. Samuel Gonzalez, hijo. Leslie Marie Gordon. Lisa M. Grant. Amanda Ellen Gray. Patrick Andrew Green. John Henry Gregory Jr. Amy J. Guerra. David Troy Guillory. Melody D. Guptill. Joseph B. Hannon. Laverne A. Hardiman. Shannon Lee Harms. Christopher Allen Howgen. Jason Lex. Hevedra, Carol Lynn Hearn, Candice Louise Gotch Hernandez, Christopher Herrera, Marlo Christine Hicks, 
April Ve Inohosa. Thomas Eugene Hodge. Angie M. Hollingsworth Vogel. Marshall D. Hopper. Jack L. Horsley. Alonso Raul er Huerta. Timothy Clarence Huntley. Suna Kim Hurst. Salvador Hurtado. Keith Inman. John Joseph Jasinski. Javier Jimenez. Clara Michelle Carney. William E. Keener. Emily O. Key. Scott E. Edward Kilovasa. Jared Thomas Kursky. Michelle Lynn Kopecki. Leif. Leif Donovan Lackey. Christopher Lambert. Flor Estela Leal. Angela Faye Lecter. Dorothy Regina Lerma. Erica Lira. Vendetta Marie Arms Littrell. Alfred L. Lomas. Alejandra del Carmen Luna. Tina Luther. Ruben Madrigal. Azucena Martinez. What did you say? Lorraine Camarreño Martinez. Audria Ilana Martinez. Robert L. Matthew II. Marion Rainbird Maurer. Marvin W. McRae, Jr. Amy Catherine McDonald. Tammy L. McDonald. Ryan McGinnis. Harlan McVeigh. Daisy Irene Mendoza. Elena Silvia Mercado. Young Milam. Veronica Morales. Gilberto Fidel Moreno. Joseph Andrew Murillo. Eleanor Nicole Murray. Christine June Newsom. Kenneth D. Nieves El Segundo. Anthony Noriskin. Laura Noemi Ontivero. Kimberly Orgill. Willie O. Ornelas. Jessica Elva Ortiz. Jane Osborne. Natalia Maria Palares. Lawrence V. Palmer. 
Christy Nicole Pantermuli. Crystal Lynn Peña. Juan Gerardo Perez. Stephanie Michelle Winslow Petrucci. Pamela M. Polonis. Charlie K. Porter Martinez. Jeanette Rodarte Price. Tracy Celeste Quinn. Ernie Ramirez. Raul Pisa Ramirez. Suzanne Ramirez. Shona Lee Writings. Daniel, Daniel Ritz III. Cynthia J. Rivas. Maria Eugenia Rodriguez. Rene Rodriguez Hijo. Harry A. Roman Torres. Roman Gabriel Rosas. Gabriel Rosas. Bambi Antoinette Rothwell. Gina Marie Reese. John Albert Reese. Guillermo Reese Hijo. Heather Marie Rusi. Daniel Paula Salgado. Tamlin Sample. Diane Sanchez. Gabriel Sanchez. April Purcell Schultz. John Clayton C. Schultz. Terry Shell. Heather Carter Shields. Ying Ying Shi. Anthony C. Thompson Shoemate. Nicolas de Silva Ico. Maria Lourdes B. Cizon Abinse. Lila Charlotte Schumane. Matthew Houston Snell. Does he have a card? Scott Dillon Snell. Kelly Ann Sawyers. Misty Autumn Stafford. Elizabeth E. Stern. Bert Schwartz. Shintan S. Talati. Michael David Tamarin. Tristan Kellner Taplin. Euluterio Tenorio Hijo. Jared Tice. Cheryl Theory. Guillermo R. Trejo. Jonathan K. Tucker. Christopher James Uribe. Gemma Vasquez. Dora Paredes Veracruz. Arnoldo Villalón Hijo. Eric Zeta Villasenor. Jennifer Vanessa Villarreal. 
Hillary L. Ward. Monica Nelaura Wayman. Shelley M. Williams. Second Lieutenant Reginald E. Williams, Jr., USA. Vernon Ray Williams, Jr. Mary J. Wright. Sally Chapman Yates. Kenneth Lane Yeager. And Sarisa Ileana Young. To signify a rite of passage and graduation from the University of Texas at San Antonio, will the graduates please shift the tassel on your mortarboard to the left side. And congratulations. Rene Escobedo received a Bachelor of Business Administration degree in accounting from UTSA in 1984 and his law degree from St. Mary's University in 1992. Rene is an attorney and certified public accountant. Recently, he opened his own law practice in San Antonio. Mr. Escobedo is a past participant of the Leadership San Antonio program and has been involved in various civic and community activities since his graduation from UTSA. Some of those activities include the Greater San Antonio Chamber of Commerce, Catholic Charities, United Way of San Antonio, the Presa Community Clinic, Child Abuse Prevention Services, the American Lung Association, and the American Leukemia Association. Rene is current president of the UTSA Alumni Association and has been a board member since 1997. Rene is married to UTSA alumna Patricia Villarreal de Escobedo. Patricia has two degrees from UTSA. They have one daughter, Victoria, and are joint life members of the Alumni Association. Senor Escobedo will now greet today's graduating class on behalf of the association. Thank you, Dr. Almaraz. Congratulations. Welcome to the UTSA alumni family of more than 46,000 graduates. As president of the Alumni Association, it's my privilege to be part of your commencement exercise and, add, and to be able to add my words of congratulation to those that you're receiving today from faculty, family, and friends I'm particularly proud of the fact that today, two of our commencement speakers are alumni of UTSA, Bob Rivard, who spoke earlier this morning, and Jamie Rochelle. Thank you, Jamie, for your words. I'll be brief, because I know you're eager to join your family and friends to share in this special occasion, and you're eager to get started with your plans for the future or as more appropriately stated on one of the graduates' mortarboards, what now? <laughs> Commencement is a beginning, not an end. Over the past several years, you've worked and studied, practiced and played, but mostly you've grown. And now you're here, ready to begin the next stage of your life as a college graduate. For some, this will mean more years of study and preparation. For others, you'll be starting a new career path or advancing career goals. 
Whatever course your future takes, it's my sincere hope that you'll look back on your years here at UTSA as having prepared you to meet and deal with the challenges of life. Please keep in mind those special people who have helped you along the way, and as your time and means allow, give back to UTSA. It's one of the most rewarding experiences you'll have. Stay connected, mentor a student, help raise scholarship funds, join the Alumni Association. All these things are important. Finally, I want to wish each and every one of you the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow man, and the love of your family. For those of you that have a class ring, now is the time to take it off and turn it around so that the insignia faces outward towards the rest of the world. Let's show them that you're now an alumnus of UTSA. I also want to invite all our graduates and their guests to attend the commencement reception immediately following in the University Center. Again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. This commencement also honors the family and friends who have been more than spectators in the accomplishments we recognize today. They have been active participants in these graduates' achievements through their patience, encouragement, and sacrifices. We wish publicly to recognize and thank you for the role you have played. Will the parents of today's graduates please stand and remain standing to be recognized? Thank you. Now will the spouses and children of today's graduates stand to be recognized. Finally, will the grandparents, grandchildren, aunts and uncles, cousins, godparents, special friends who hold a unique relationship to these graduates, please stand. Thank you. I now ask you to stand and join Jennifer Quintero as she leads us in singing the UTSA Alma Mater. Will the audience please be seated. We ask that all guests please remain seated until the graduates have left the Convocation Center. We invite all graduates and guests to join the faculty and staff of your college in a reception following this commencement ceremony. The reception will be held in the University Center East Wing and will be hosted by the UTSA Alumni Association. Will the university marshal take up the mace 
and the faculty marshals retrieve the college banners and lead the graduates in the recessional. Thank you for coming to our celebration. This signifies the conclusion of the university's May 2001 commencement ceremony. Muchas gracias y muy buenas tardes. Thank you.